Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome back to my channel. I've got something really special for you tonight, something that people have been asking for uh, quite a bit, and then there'll be a follow-up video later in the week. Uh, first, one comment on the last video, the MicroTik port forwarding. I am going to let those uh, jokes, people vote on those jokes until the next video. So I just want to get some more votes in there, and then we'll give away that screwdriver set. So this video, what we're going to do is... <clears throat> We're logged into our cloud key that we're using for all of these, these lab videos. And you can see that we have willy-lab. This is the main site that we've been working on. But if I drop this down, now you see lab extension. And what is hiding in the lab extension but a second USG in the lab? How fantastic is that? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a site-to-site -site VPN using these USGs. And... Uh, we'll ping some tra traffic across, and I'll, I'll show you how this works. So first, if we look at clients, my PC is plugged in, and my IP address is 10.9.8.7, and we can verify that. So right here, 10.9.8.7. So we'll minimize that guy. If we hop back over to the lab uh, devices, we do have a switch on there that we can ping. So to create the VPN, what we're going to do, and it doesn't matter which site we initiate this from since they're in the same controller. So since we're on Willy Lab, we're going to go down here to Settings. We're going to go to Networks. And then we're going to click the Create New Network button. And I'm going to call this Lab VPN. And we're going to do site to site VPN. I'm going to leave this just set at auto. And then it's going to say choose a remote site. So I'm going to choose lab extension. And by the way, actually before we do that, just to show you right now that there's no connection between those, I'm going to ping 192.168.1.254. Nothing. And that's the lab US 8 switch. So let's go back in here. And we'll go to networks, create a network, lab VPN, site to site VPN. We'll leave that at auto for now, lab extension, and then click save. The lab VPN network was created. So now what's going to happen is if we go back to our devices, we see that the lab USG is provisioning. If we hop over to the lab extension, we will see that the lab extension USG is now provisioning. So it's it, you know, the USGs are taking those settings from the controller and they are going to start that VPN connection. So we're going to hop back over to the lab and we'll wait for these to provision. Okay, it looks like we are connected. We have provision. We'll hop over and check the lab extension. Everything looks good there. So one thing that we can do is we can click on our USG. And then we can go over to networks. And we can see that there's a lab VPN. This network shows up. So let's see if we can ping across the VPN. Now, uh, we will start from, we'll ping, we'll ping the switch. And there it is. Traffic flowing across, flowing right across. So you could go in and now <clears throat> you could start manipulating the firewall rules on the USG and start, you know, doing different things with the traffic if you wanted. Uh, real quick, let's SSH into this switch and see if we can ping my, um, we'll see if we can ping. We'll SSH into the switch and see if we can ping my PC. And there it is from the switch. Uh, to my PC. So <clears throat> if I bring this back up, um, 
you can see we've now got bi-directional traffic over that VPN and it really is that easy to create a site-to-site -site VPN with uh, Unify and the USGs and you can do this from a USG Pro to a USG 3 I mean they don't have to be or they shouldn't have to be like devices but it is really that easy so to recap real quick what we did was we have our uh, internet connection between our USGs and we have our USGs configured in our sites off of the lab USG we have a switch and off of the lab extension USG we have my PC and then we created a VPN connection between these two and it really is that easy it really takes just that few clicks so uh, play around with it break it see you know see what the limitations are and if you like the video please give me a thumbs up please comment please subscribe please share and we'll see you in the next video